Five years ago, a place in Eldridge became a, a gallery featuring local artists and artisans and a place where people could buy supplies and, and learn how to create together. Well, Julie Wall is an artist and the owner of Artist Vault, and she had an idea that it worked. It worked even during the COVID shutdowns. Even during COVID. Maybe even more so. Well, we had to adapt as every small business. You had to adapt to, to overcome it. So remember when everybody was drawing in their uh, driveway well, with chalk and their sidewalks, all the kids were decorating all this stuff. You came up with your own like chalk kit. Yes, so my phone started ringing. Can your suppliers get it? Because we can't find sidewalk chalk anywhere. And I started playing around, looking up recipes. And so now we are the home of handmade chalk. Is that cool? I mean, look at that, locally made, a great idea that was, you know, that was actually there was a shortage of it. Yes. So, so it's back, and you and you made it happen. And uh, you have other little kits that you created mainly during COVID, Julie. Or? Yes, yes. And so basically, so that it, it's stuff that could just be picked up or handed through the door. Yes. And taken home and worked on. And so that little kit. I love this little guy. Is, is I I brought pieces of it this right is, there. This is what's inside uh, that little tin. So a little, you could draw, like this is something you, you went, ahead, went ahead and colored it or drew it. It's I went to Miss Effie's and painted a little did flower. You? Yes. Because look, this is just like a little canvas and you say, look at this, I'm an artist. I'm an artist in miniature, right? Yeah. Right there. And Easter's coming up. You got some baskets with art. I started things. carrying Uli Art Supplies and it's a company out of California and they just have these wonderful, brilliant, bright colored materials. Ooh, neat. I have not opened a material yet that I don't like. And in fact, I am just absolutely in love with them. I, I, I love this kind of thing too. And, they, and these must be high quality because I know you're picky. They are high quality, yeah. absolutely. So what else is popular right now? I mean, uh, we'll look at this little uh, wooden Easter egg. So we're getting ready for Easter. And so I made some fun little Easter kits and you can pick up a wooden Easter egg. It can have a design drawn on it already or it can be absolutely plain. You, it comes with three acrylic colors. You get a tiny little paintbrush. You get some nice little accoutrements. L little, little decoration. That is so adorable. It is just darn cute. Yeah, perfect thing to tuck into a basket. Look at that. And so you said I could already have this design on there if I don't want to draw that yes, myself. Yes, yes. I have a few in the gallery that actually have, they've all got different designs on, mm -hmm. but I have two that are just plain. Some people like to create wow. themselves. That's really neat. So a little Easter kit. How much you charge for that, Julie? Um, I charge $9 for that. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. awesome. I can see, you know, um, you know, a Sunday school class or just, you know, if you a group of kids or whatever, you know, if you want to give kids a little craft project, very cute. Yeah. Uh, and also you are the home of uh, local artists. Yes. Where they're displayed, where I can go and, and buy something from Lori Miller's line yeah. or something. We feature local Quad City artists. Um, we love artists and artisans. And I, I'm looking for high quality I want to make sure that it's high quality work. This, this is a class that's coming up, the, the, the flowers, right? Yes, and so I'm going to be out at Our Lady of the Prairie Center on April 28th. We're doing a painting and wine night. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and, and it's painting with primary colors. So all you're going to get on your palette is primary colors and white paint. And I will guide you through the process of painting flowers. I love that. I love yes. that floral. And it's then I nice. also developed one for, this is for the Wapsi Center. Cute. And they wanted something that was kind of woodsy and natural. And so gnomes are a hot thing Aren't right they? now. Those gnomes. So we have a nice little woodland gnome here that we're going to be painting that on May 28th up in DeWitt at the Wapsie Center. That's cool. A couple more things, I just just real quick before we let you go. These earrings created by, did you say a mother and daughter? A mother and daughter. So their little company is called Shine. And it started during COVID. Uh, daughter was looking for something to do. Mom gave her some beads and mm. Shine began. And they have come up with some of the most beautiful earrings. It's mostly online. Mm -hmm. And 
and but they luckily feature some items in my gallery also. You have the really, really nice things and you, you support local artisans when you go to the Artist Vault. Uh, on North 2nd Street in Eldridge, celebrating five years, Julie Wall. Congrats on Thank that. Thank you. It means a lot what you do. So thanks, Julie. We appreciate it. My pleasure. You.